We're going to talk about Snake Eyes today. The new G.I. Joe film is supposed to be coming out soon. And everybody knows about the fact that Henry Golding, an Asian American actor, has been cast in the role of Snake Eyes. Whereas Snake Eyes in the old G.I. Joe film, well, you didn't really see him in the old G.I. Joe films aside from in his suit. He never took his mask off. But in the comics, he did. And he was white. Now, we know that a white guy is not playing him. Henry Golding is playing him. I'm not going to go on a rage about this because it really doesn't make me angry. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm not going to do that at all because that's, that's not what we're here to talk about. I think it's pretty cool that, you know, they're making Snake Eyes uh, an Asian because he's a ninja. I can't argue with that. <laughs> I, I can't think of anything... To be angry about with that. I have a lot to say on the matter, which we will get to soon enough. But it's part of the reason why I find it so hysterical. Why I'm not angry. Because the reason behind it is funny as hell. So this one article that I'm in right now is bounding into comics. I'm going to put a link to both of these articles in the description. And I urge you to read them. And make your own opinions on the matter. This one here, bounding into comics, uh, is talking about... Henry Golding's first look at G.I. Joe's Snake Eyes at the film. It says, G.I. Joe is being reintroduced to the big screen, and Snake Eyes is going to be the first film. And it's going to be an origin story for Snake Eyes. They say they're starting a new timeline in, the new G. in a new G.I. Joe universe, or within the G.I. Joe universe, same, same thing. Golding says, this would be a very different Snake Eyes, one that we'll see unmasked for a time. In the comics, he was unmasked at least in one episode. One one comic. I think it was comic 94. He showed his face in one comic, but he never showed his face in the films. But this one is going to show his face more, it seems. And it's going to talk about... It's going to basically go on about how he became Snake Eyes. It's an origin story, basically, which is going to partially destroy the mystery of what Snake Eyes is. That's partially why... That's mostly why Snake Eyes was created the way he was at the time. We're going down here. It says, for us to never really see what's beneath the mask, it always misks something. Snake Eyes was always seen as a weapon, an almost inanimate object. But when you go get to see someone's eyes, you get to see their that past, their future, all of it behind them. On the 4th, Golding posted a, a photo of a set, and it shows unmasked Snake Eyes, this one right here. It's showing Snake Eyes walking up to the temple. Chuck Dixon explained why this was so why the changes there said Larry Hama understood the very simple principle that the mystery enhances and engages the reader you know the less you know the more you want to know the other thing that Larry understands and I learned over time writing comics is that kids who are supposed to be the primary audience well kids love to project themselves onto superheroes that's that's a kid thing to do they love to go outside and pretend to be either Superman or, or Batman you <sighs> brooding Batman or, uh, you know, in this case, Snake Eyes. And that was the reason Snake Eyes was the way he was, for the most part, you know, just for the sake of kids. You know, it's like, hey, kids love to be kids. You, you don't know what he sounds like, you don't know what he looks like, so he could really be anybody. American Hero, number 93. Hama explained why he decided to, to depict Snake Eyes as a white man and reveal his face. I had wanted to keep him ambiguous until Hasbro introduced Storm Shadow. And he was the only Asian character and made him a bad guy. That's why Snake Eyes is a white guy, because Storm Shadow was the token Asian, and he originally was a bad guy, and that's where it pretty much goes on and ends. Says, the quest with questionable franchise reboots, plenty of fans are skeptical. skeptical. I absolutely do not blame them. Okay, so this comes out uh, October 23rd of this year. I'm going to highlight this right here. October 23rd, 2020 is when Snake Eyes comes out. You know, it feels like so far away. It doesn't, but it also doesn't feel like October was that long ago. It's fucking me up. The film is directed by Robert Schwentke. Schwentke? Schwentke? Honestly, I, I apologize if I'm butchering that. I'm probably butchering that seven ways from fucking Sunday. Cast also includes Andrew Koji as Storm Shadow. Iko, you... For fuck's sake. You know, I, I, you think I should be good at this. Iko, you ace as Hardmaster. Ursula Corbero as Baroness. And Samara Weaving as Scarlet. I know 
None of those characters, nor those actors. So, whatever. That's a Bounding into Comics take on it. Which is really good, you know. It, it, it is really nice to have a, a more of a deep look at what's going on with this film. I'm not really angry at the fact that they're changing him. Mostly because I find it funny. And, and here's why. Here's, here's an article from Inverse. On Inverse, this article here. It says, the opening line, the opening headline. G.I. Joe finally fixes Snake Eyes being a white guy with Henry Golding. Now, we already know Henry Golding is an Asian American actor. He's been in a lot of good films. That's why I covered the Bounding in a Comics uh, article first. That was the same information, but not about this. It's actually about what was going on. This article goes on, you know, yada, 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 new spinoff slash reboot of the G.I. Joe film series featuring new Snake Eyes and Henry Golding. And then it says here, finally, we can stop pretending to believe that Snake Eyes is a white guy. And that's what this article mostly is, why I'm not going to read all of it. Just the highlights. Uh, Paramount uh, in the midst of relaunching. Yeah, yeah. We know it's coming out this year. We have a release date. And we already know that Golding is replacing Ray Park. Ray Park, by the way, is fucking awesome. Here's what it talks about here. It says, Golding is an exciting choice to play Snake Eyes, if also a confusing one. Golding is, you know, he's a, he's a good leading man. But Snake Eyes is a masked character, remembered by the by a generation of nerds, oh, fuck you, for donning all black Kevlar and fighting his Arash, Arashikag... I don't fucking... Arashi, Arashikag... Fighting his ninja clan brother and rival Storm Chat. I'm not even going to try to say Arishikage. Uh, critic Keith Chow, for the nerds of color, they're quoting him here, says... Snake Eyes, of course, is everyone's favorite G.I. Joe character. He's got the best costume, and his file card made it so that any kid could imagine themselves behind the mask. And for this Asian-American kid, that was a big deal. It also helped that everything about his backstory was a mystery. He could literally be anyone to anybody. Which, and here's, here's the best part, which is why it was ultimately disappointing to learn Snake Eyes was a white guy. <laughs> That's the crux of the article right there. <laughs> the crux of the fucking article is that <laughs> this these people are happy that G, that Snake Eyes isn't a blue-eyed, blonde-haired Caucasian. <laughs> Listen, let it keep going. Casting an Asian actor <laughs> to portray Snake Eyes feels like a serious course correction that feels long overdue. <laughs> it's also just kind of funny, because why cover up Henry Golding's face? <laughs> oh my fucking Christ! Uh... <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's the crux of the article that I wanted to read. Casting an Asian character fixes Snake Eyes. <laughs> now, again, I have no problem with an Asian guy playing Snake Eyes. There's nothing wrong with that. But... Christ. But the <laughs> but these guys the people writing this article <laughs> have no fucking idea the racist stereotype they're perpetuating by assuming a fucking ninja is automatically an Asian. <laughs> Like, how fucked up do you have to be to assume? <laughs> how fucked up do you have to be to assume <laughs> that Snake Eyes, a character who basically has no real look, must be an Asian because he's a ninja and he knows martial arts? <laughs> Christ, 
I can't. Oh, fucking hell. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> you racist bastards! <laughs> Snake Eyes is fixed because he's an Asian. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Oh, uh, yeah. Snake Eyes. Comes out October 23rd, 2020. Go read The Bounding in the comics, Arnold. It actually is really good. And as for Inverse, you guys are fucking stupid. You guys have no idea the, the irony of what you just said. You're, this, is why it's, this is why I can't be angry about it. It's so fucking hysterical to me. They're saying that Snake Eyes, a, a character who originally had no care, you know, no, no real look to him, is fixed because... An Asian guy is playing him instead of a white guy, even though assuming that just because he's a ninja and he knows martial arts automatically makes him Asian. There's just so many layers of racial stereotypes in there that inverse is missing. God, the, ugh, the irony is so juicy. It's anyway, uh, I had a good laugh. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, I'm. Go read the article. Go read both articles. Hopefully you have a belly laugh. And I will catch you all fucking later.